Well, hello there, and welcome once again to another fabulous show of The Vita Show. And we are now in 2008, which a lot of people say is the year for new beginnings. And I'm telling you folks, we're also going to have a lot of new beginnings here on The Vita Show. One of them is now you will have no excuse not to view into the Vita Show because now we are on YouTube.com. All you have to do is have computer and internet access and you can go to YouTube and actually see the Vita Show and get the 411 on what is going on. Today, my guest I have in the house is Mr. Erie Chapman. How you doing, Mr. Chapman? I'm doing great, Navita. Glad to be here. I am so glad to have you. Would Thank you. Would you please tell our viewing audience a little bit about you? I'd be glad to do that. I'm, I'm so old that it might take a long time to introduce <laughs> myself if I went through everything. Well, we don't yeah. have too long. Yeah. Only <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, I think the main thing uh, I want to emphasize is that I'm, I'm currently leading an organization called the Baptist Healing Trust. Ah. Uh, the Baptist Healing Trust is a, is a foundation right here in Middle Tennessee uh, based here in Nashville. We have $150 million and all we do is give it away. So we hope that organizations, 501c3 mm -hmm. charities, will apply to us for grants. Um, and we do our best to try to do to focus on that, to focus on health care charities in Middle Tennessee. Well, but, just, yeah. just kind of like expound on that word foundation. Some, yeah. some of our folks may not know what that means. What, what does that mean, a foundation? Well, um, the foundation here uh, is uh, basically it's a community fund. Uh, oh. And this community fund uh, is administered by our board and by our staff. And uh, we take applications for grants. Uh, and you can go to our website, uh, healinghospital.org. Always try to get that in, healinghospital.org. Healing or or baptisthealingtrust.org. Oh, one. okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and so um, now most foundations actually try to raise money. In our case, we hold these funds in trust and then provide grants out of the uh, money to to charities, uh, healthcare charities, to help them advance their mission. So it's, uh, you said specifically healthcare charities yeah. uh, that have their 501, that mean they are nonprofit That's right. charities. Uh, now how would those charities go about contacting mm -hmm. you and, and kind of getting the ball rolling? Yeah, best way for them to do that, again, is to go to our website, uh, baptisthealingtrust.org, or to call us, 284-8271. Mm -hmm. uh, again, right here in Nashville, so it's area 615. Uh, we have uh, full-time grants officers, two of them, oh. who uh, help people with grant applications if they're having difficulty with that. Uh, but you know a little bit about us, I know, Navita, because of yes. your own interest in cervical cancer. So uh, that's the kind of organization we like to support with these funds. We give grants to these organizations, blocks of money, to help them So where did y'all come from? Well, uh. that's a good question. We came from the sale of Baptist Hospital to uh, the St. Thomas Health System, to Ascension Health. So St. Thomas actually owns Baptist Hospital now. And yeah, because I was going to say, yeah. we still have a Baptist Hospital, That's but, right. but okay. It, it's, it actually says Baptist up on top, uh, but the truth is, it's really Catholic, right? So uh, <coughs> it's a little okay. bit of an odd thing out there. Baptist Hospital is actually Catholic. It's owned by uh, the St. Thomas Health System. Uh, we both agreed we would just leave the Baptist name up there because Baptist is so well known uh, here in Middle Tennessee. Okay. So we left the name up there and uh, the St. Thomas Health System has been doing a fine job of running that uh, organization. When we sold the hospital to St. Thomas back in 2001, Yeah, 2002, I was going to ask you when, yeah, did, when did that occur? That's when the money came in. That's where the money comes from, from, from the Catholic system that, that uh, gave those community funds for us to operate. Uh, and then that's system. what the, the Baptist Healing Trust, that's, that's right. how that came into existence of helping other um, nonprofits mm -hmm. or helping nonprofits that deal with, with the health disparities, which you know yes, right. are very yeah. many mm -hmm. in our community. And also I think that you have a pension that you like. The more creative yeah. the nonprofit is, the more it kind of like you kind of arch your eyebrow and kind of pay attention like, yeah. ooh, they're doing something creative, not so much as different mm -hmm. maybe than some other nonprofit, but they're going about it and maybe putting a little twist with it. Well, that's right. And, and actually the kind of twist that we're talking about in our case, we're particularly interested in focusing on organizations that actively practice the delivery of loving care uh, with the, their charitable service. So that, uh, uh, you know, a lot of organizations say that, uh, every organization uh -huh. says, well, we believe in love, we believe in loving care. Unfortunately, uh, a fair number of charities, including hospitals, actually don't do a very good job of that. Now, wait, and, now, wait Mr. Ch how yeah. do you gauge that, loving 
yeah. care? Uh, we do, we do have, that's a good question. We do have a way of, of gauging it. But, but first of all, I can give you an illustration of what I mean okay. when I say um, hospitals and charities often don't uh, do a very good job with loving care. And the way you know that is all you have to do is walk into the emergency department of a big hospital with a pain in your side, right? Yeah. And, and you go up to the front desk. Now, there's a nice person back there, but that nice person usually doesn't show that themselves that well. Uh, what they oh. do, first thing they say to you, instead of saying, instead of saying, gee, I'm really sorry to see you're in pain, let me help you out here. The typical admitting clerk in the typical hospital says, here, fill out this form. Yes, have seat, that, right? here, yes. So what's loving about that? Uh, and when we see that well, kind of cold, kind of yeah. cold and yeah. sterile right. and, and like really I, I'm not interested in you kind of like hurry up along almost like an assembly line mm -hmm. that's right. type yeah. of procedure. And that's that's what we don't like to see. And that's one of the things we evaluate when we're looking at charities. We go out and visit the organizations. Oh. Uh, we do um, we look at uh, surveys that are done sometimes by them. They do patient satisfaction or client satisfaction or employee satisfaction surveys. Wow. And that's a way for us to find out, is this organization really living up to its mission? You know, they say they're loving, but is that really happening? Uh, oh, okay. And so uh, we're working with a number of, of charities right now that are, are doing a good I job. I was going to ask, yeah. that's what's going to be my next question. Yeah. How many charities are you guys, or do you work with at a time? Yeah, we, we have given uh, grants to over 100 charities in Middle Tennessee thus wow. far. Uh, and among those include organizations like Alive Hospice uh, here, uh, the Salome Clinic. Um, oh, yes, I've heard of Salome Clinic. Yeah, yes, Interfaith that's... Dental Clinic, um, Faith Family Clinic. We give to organizations of, of all kinds so long as they are nonprofit. Um, they're delivering, you know, loving mission and loving uh -huh. care in Middle Tennessee. Magdalene is another charity that we give a lot of support to. 